Well, today I'm proud to show you Nature's Lover from Studio Light. Now, there are two pieces, and there's going to be so many things that Kathy Thompson, our new designer, has done. So please, come play with us. Well, as I said, we have two pieces from Studio Light, and the first of the six by six papers, there are 36 of them. They are single-sided, and you do get multiple copies of each one. And so in the back, there are more of the background papers, and then we get into the pattern papers. So there's going to be a card using every single one of those. Now there are die cuts. The die cuts come in this pad, 220. And you can see that they're just going to be ones that you simply pull out and foam tape, glue, whatever you like. Remember that one, because there's something fun with that too. So these are the two pieces. Now let's get into what Kathy has done. So here's our first card. And this is using our five by six and a half inch uh, cards. And isn't that pretty? You can also see some dimension going on. So what Kathy did is she took, that was the first sheet in the book, and it's because this is a six by six, it's not going to completely cover our card. Now you could just trim the card off and have it shorter, but Kathy decided to first cover it with the rich gold Mary cardstock, and this is just gorgeous. So she simply put glue down and then placed the piece and then turned it over and trimmed it to fit the card. That's all you have to do. Then you can position this on top and it might be best to attach it with extra sticky glue. Um, that would work well. So that is our card front and you can see how beautifully that's going to just fill that card front, but it does leave us some space to do some extra things. Now, you can see at the top and the bottom, there is a white border. And um, I will tell you that Kathy uses that multiple times in these cards. So this is out of our Lacy Border Dazzles, and this comes with uh, two different sheets of art and multiple colors, black, white, gold, silver. So that's going to be nice. And then the white is gonna go right there. Now, all of these die cuts obviously are going to come from this pad of 220. And you can see that she has layered some of them, well, I guess she's layered all of them with foam tape, but then as she wanted some on top of each other, it's gonna have two layers of foam tape. So let me just turn that. Can you see where that's one foam tape, that's a little bit more, and that's a double. Okay, and you can just put them on to match the art, and that works quite nicely. In fact, you can see that right here is the piece, and then she found one that matched it. Same thing right here. She's got one right there. So just gives some dimension to your card. Now, the other thing that she's done is the Friends Forever. Now, that comes from something else. So even though there are 220 die cuts, um, Kathy wanted to add something more, and so she went into the Meadow Blooms die cuts, and with this, it just gave her more ability to uh, spread things. So, the Friends Forever, she has kind of tucked that in at an angle, and there's two little pieces of ribbon. Now, again, that is going to be used probably for all of these cards. So, this comes from the Crepe Ribbon Set. I have to tell you, crepe is absolutely my favorite ribbon because you can make bows and things with them and they're not going to smash down. So she just put a snippet, a snippet would be about an inch, piece of the, you can see the moss and the bright pink ribbon right there, just tuck them in and then glued the friends forever on top. So that's a really interesting way to do it. Now, again, this is going to be something that she uses throughout, and these are the foil butterflies. I think that Kathy has just fallen in love with this because it's been so fun. And what she does with it is she will take the tri-blend markers, because they're alcohol, and she will color behind them. So let me get a little piece of white so you can really see. Okay, now, can you see? hopefully you can, that this is um, 
Let's see, she used the orange blend on the inner areas. Now this is on the back of the foiling. Okay, so it's gonna be on the silver side. There you go. Did that, and then she used the citrus on the outside, so just to give it some color. Now the other thing it's doing is because it is against this peach paper, it's even a stronger color, so that's fun. Now the way to attach it is, well first, after you color those, then just either fold them in half or do a fold on each side of the body and then put the extra sticky tape, this is the quarter inch, along the back side of the body and that's what you attach. That way that, that puppy's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay right there and that's just really perfect. Okay, let's go to the inside of our card. And let's get closer to it, okay? We've got some empty space, there we go. Now on the inside, she has used another sheet and this is the sheet. Now this has been trimmed down um, also, Kathy has directions down below. So when you click on a card, you'll see the instructions. This has also been matted on the rich gold. You can see it has about a 16th of an inch mat. And then she has placed a, uh, this is Life is Better with Friends. That's one of the cutting dies out of the meadow blooms. So I did put the meadow blooms cutting dies along with these two for the money saver because Kathy uses them so much and I just wanted them you to have them. The other thing she did, which I thought was very clever, is she put one of the dazzles around that oval, just placed it around. Now when they're narrow like this, you can curve them. So isn't that fun? Now this is one of the Nature, Nature Lover die cuts and this is another one, just again, going right over the top of them. So that is our first card. So lots of things going on. Oh, wait, there's one more thing I didn't tell you. She added the sparkle pen. Okay, now I hope I can turn this so that you can see. With the sparkle pen, you simply pull off the lid and just brush it over whatever you want to sparkle. And it adds just a shimmer to them. And she's done it on each of these flowers. So that is, again, something else that she has done through many of these cards. So there you go. Well, and I think it's nice because, you know, if you're going to buy the product, you might as well be able to use it a whole lot, don't you think? Okay, there is our first card. Now, let me show you our second. So we've got something else going on. And in this case, she took our five by six and a half card and she had the fold at the top, trimmed it down to be five inches square. Okay. Then she glued this piece to the card front. Now, you will need to make sure that you're having your wreath centered. So just, you know, I like to kind of take my card and hold it up to a light so I can kind of position this paper on top of it and then do that, glue that in place, and then take our circular, uh, cutting dies, and I think it's interesting, let me open this up so you can see, that she used the scallop die. Now normally I would kind of just always go to just a, a plain circle, but she did the scallops. I thought that was very clever, so that was nice. Just position it on top, you can run it right through your die cutting machine, okay? Now the other things that are going on here, as I think you can see, is she's taken advantage of those die cuts out of the Nature Lovers, and she has foam taped them in place. We have another butterfly. This one has been colored with the purple tri-blend marker. Same idea on the back of it, and used the, folded it, and then used the extra sticky tape in the center. So you can see that that it just does a nice job. Plus it lets it kind of hang over that center area. Now, the happy birthday is part of the cutouts of the Nature Lover. And then this is also, remember I said the crepe ribbon was going to be used multiple times? Well, it's used again right here, and that's going to be zotted in place. Now, the inside of her card is using this sheet. You can see what a nice companion it makes. And that has been trimmed down just slightly smaller than her 5x5 five five card. 
And the dazzles come from the card inside, outside dazzles. So may all your wishes come true. And you could have used on the front, happy birthday or sending warm thoughts, whatever you want. But in this case, she just used this dazzle greeting. Two of the uh, die cuts are right there. And that finishes that card. Very nice. Now with this next card, she did something that I don't know that I've seen before. And let me bring in the um, Nature's Lover die cuts. Okay, whoops. Oh, there we go. Okay, so again, this is a five by six and a half inch card. So our six inch by six inch papers will certainly fit but she wanted to extend it. So she took the green and just cut, oh, you could do half an inch, two one half inch pieces, glued one at the top and one at the bottom, trimmed off the excess, and then she glued this piece in place. Now you can decide, looks like she has the darker area, it kind of goes darker to lighter. She has a darker area at the bottom and glue that over the top, works very nicely. Now, the thing that she did that I've not seen before is she took one of the uh, die cuts and she cut it multiple times. And so, to cut that successfully, <laughs> you wanna use the oval collection, the oval and scallops. Now, these are all just the straight edge, so she didn't use any of the, of the scallops, but you can see that she would place the middle one in the center and then the next one and the next one, and then run it through the machine so you had all of those layers. Then she went back to this green piece and took the next largest oval and glued and die cut it out of green. So that way she's got all of those layers. The other clever thing the woman did is the green piece is down flat with glue. The smallest edge that was left is down. Then this has one layer of foam tape. This has two, this has three, but it's not terribly thick. So that's nice. And then she accented both the top and bottom here and that oval with those dazzles. And this is the thin line dazzles, as I'm sure you know, very, these are the tiny but mighty ones. And this is placed about, that's about just over a quarter inch from the card fold. So she's kind of got it offset here. The um, die cuts are right here. So again, one flat, one with foam tape, one with two layers of foam tape. She's got the sparkle pen on top of those. Now the thinking of you comes from the, um, meadow blooms and you can see that the colors do coordinate nicely there are three of the little die cuts right there and they also have the sparkle pen on them and i guess so do all the flowers in here so i'm hoping that you can see that so that's the front of our card lots of layering going on the inside she has then taken these two and this is a smaller piece. Again, the measurements are down below, and that is how she has done it, to have the two butted up together. Now, this is coming from the fancy dazzles, the fancy, the lacy border dazzles that we had in the earlier card. And you can see how she has taken two of them and butted them up against each other to go right along the edge of where the two papers meet. Very clever. The Wish You Were Here is out of the Meadow Blooms, but these pieces are from the um, die cuts that are the Nature Lover. So you can see there's one here and then one on top, and these two are just offset. Again, this gives you plenty of room to write a brief message, so that works nicely. Okay, and this, oh, this also has the thin line dazzles along the edge. There you go, you can kind of get that shimmer. So you've got the repeated gold 
as you have it on the front of the card too. So the inside of the card is echoing what's going on uh, technique-wise and material-wise as the card front. Okay, I have one more for you. And this is also the five by six and a half. Now, what she did is that this is the card, or the card stock that she used on the front. And she did trim it smaller than the card. Now, she chose not to have a white edge. And so to create this kind of muted green edge, she used the pear green prism ink pad and our trusty blender brush, put it on the uh, craft mat, and then dip this in here and did it very lightly around all the edge so that you get that green look that just goes forward, okay? Then trim this and glue it in place. And then position the um, fancy border dazzles. This, again, I said black, white, gold, silver. They're the white ones around the edge. The thank you for all you do is out of the meadow blooms. And that little uh, butterfly is out of the nature lover. So that just worked nicely. And I'm looking to see, yes, she did the sparkle pen on the butterfly, so that's nice. On the inside, well, remember that green, and you do get multiples of each, that we used on the last card? Well, you've got more of it, so you can trim that down and glue it in place. And then she took the border and this arch from the um, Meadow Blooms die cuts, and glued that in place. Now, I think that this um, border was trimmed down a little bit because I know the border runs, well, it's pretty long, so it may be longer. So if it's too long, just trim it down in the middle, just, and then you've got the ends. The arch is a beautiful piece in the middle. And then that is, uh, has dazzles on it, and these are the wear together more colors. Now. That one has brown, and so that's what she has used. The two butterflies are from the Nature Lover, so you can see that they're often smaller, and so that's, I think, why she went with the also the Meadow Blooms, just to give her a little bit more options. This also has the thin line gold dazzles around the edge, so that's pretty, and that works very nicely. So you can see this is just some of the stuff that you can do. Now, the Nature's Lover, let's see, there we go, with the papers, so you can have plenty of papers, and uh, with the 220 die cuts, you're going to have lots, but just in case you wanted to do what she did, what Kathy did, we've added the Meadow Blooms cutting die cuts, and that's over in the Money Saver, so that will work. I do need to tell you that um, Studio Light, uh, we don't have many of these. So uh, we didn't show them earlier than this webisode because we wanted to make sure that those of you who saw the webisode were able to get the product. And uh, so I just want to tell you that if this is something you like and you want to take advantage of, uh, you might want to do that sooner rather than later. Okay, so we have the money saver on the right side of our screen. We have the instructions down below. Just click on the cards and you can see. And we also um, want to tell you, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like us, please subscribe, give me a comment if you like, then head on over to paperwishes.com, take advantage of the money saver if you like that, and take a look at the instructions because you can print those off if you like. So I want to thank Kathy. This is her second webisode, very exciting, and she's working on more. And uh, I want to thank her for doing such a lovely job, and thank you for being absolutely the best part of our Paper Wishes family. We'll see you again.